Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a natural anti-dandruff scalp serum. Now let's get into the lab. Now to build my serum, I am going to add some xanthan gum to my water phase. I have chosen the Cosphoderm X Soft. This is a really good grade of xanthan gum. I'm just going to put it in some propane dial. I've chosen this humectant because it's not sticky like glycerin, which is ideal for a scalp as you will need to apply this to freshly washed hair, preferably damp or wet, and then work it through on your scalp and then blow dry. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to my water phase. This is gonna create a nice gel serum. So I'm gonna pop this one on heat. I do wanna make more of a milky looking serum this time around, so I'm gonna be adding an emulsifier and some lipids. So I'm gonna chuck this one on heat. Okay, so once this is hot enough, I am gonna go in and add my emulsifier. So I've chosen the Olive M1000. This is a class as a natural emulsifier. I'm only using a small input. I still want it to be quite low viscosity, so it's gonna spread well through the scalp. It's also enough to give it that milky look. Now, when it comes to lipids, you do wanna add very small input because it's being applied to the scalp and being left on. You wanna make sure that you're using light, non-greasy lipids and that's quite a small input. So I'm using the Lexafil Natural here. This is a nice light feeling ester. It's also long spreading, so it's gonna help it spread through the scalp. And I'm adding just a tiny, tiny input of some Camellia tea oil. Okay, so once that's nice and homogenous, we're gonna remove it from the heat and stir to cool. And then we're gonna add in our heat sensitive materials. Now while that's cooling, I am gonna walk you through my star ingredient I am gonna be using in this today. So I'm going to use the Cutie Biome by CLR. This has some really good efficacy data for the scalp, also for the skin as well, but we're using it more for the scalp benefits. So I'm gonna show some of the in vivo efficacy data on this material. There was a four week application study done with uh, Cutie Biome CLR, used at 1.5%. So the application was applied on the scalp three times a week after washing the hair and there was a numerous amount of volunteers uh, aged between 20 to 68 years old, both female and male. And the expert grading was done on scalp oiliness and there was also some photography to generally assess the dandruff. So you can see here in these photos, the top ones are showing what the volunteer scalp was beforehand. It's looking quite dry and obviously there's like a build up of dandruff there. And then in these pictures afterwards, four weeks after application, you can see the dandruff is completely gone and the scalp isn't looking dry and irritated anymore. It's actually looking quite moisturized and hydrated. So Cutie Biome is really good at gently balancing your skin and scalp's microbiome. It regulates sebum to effectively reduce dandruff and the scalp oiliness and also soothes the scalp and relieves it from the itchiness caused by dandruff. And you can really see that in those before and after photos. Okay, so once this is cooled down, we're gonna add in our Cutie Biome CLR. I'm gonna add in my preservative, just gone with GeoGuard ECT. Gonna add a bit of tocopherol, just a little bit, because we use a natural plant oil. And I'm also gonna add in some Kakadu Plum extract. So this is good for oxidative stress on the hair. Um, it helps with giving the hair a bit more volume and also moisture. So this is a good product to use in the scalp and also the, the roots of the hair. Okay, and lastly, we're just gonna check adjust pH. Do you want it to be quite a neutral pH? Yep, that's pretty spot on. And we're gonna cover it and leave it until the next day just to assess the viscosity overnight. So this is what our serum is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's thickened up quite a bit overnight, which is good. It's not too thick, but it's also not too runny. So this is gonna be pretty good to apply to the scalp. It's 
got that beautiful, nice, milky look. And that's gliding and spreading really easily and smoothly. No tack. Um, and there's no greasy feel either. That's just beautifully gliding over my hand, just like butter. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make a natural anti-dandruff scalp serum. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.